Hello sunshines, welcome to Bunny Fish Crafts. I'm your host Heather, known as Bunny Fish on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Today is Monday, the 20, nope. Today is Monday the 13th of June, 2022. That's where we, that's where I got the 20. How are you? Oh, and this is episode 20. There we go. It all makes sense now. I was wondering where my brain was pulling random numbers from. Anyway, um, hi, welcome. It is hot today. It's not as hot as it's going to be this week. It's supposed to get up to like 96 tomorrow. That sounds terrible. <sighs> Disgusting. I hate the sound of that. I am not a hot weather person, in case you're new here. I could do winter and autumn all year. But I live in Michigan where it gets to be recently, the past couple years, it's spending lots of days in the 90s. When I was little, that was so rare. I live in the same house I grew up in. This is not my house. This is the yarn shop where I work. I teach class shortly. Um, and I have ADHD, so if you're new here, this is pretty normal, the tangentness. So yes, it is hot. It is also the last week of school, which is very emotional. Like, I'm looking forward to having a little bit of time off before I go teach summer school, but I'm also, like, really sad because I'm not going to see some of these kiddos for some of them for a couple months and some of them ever again. Like, need to not think about it. I'm gonna cry, I'm really gonna cry, okay. So, whew, I brought it back in, we're good. Um, how are you? Are you well? Are things going okay for you? My, like, my brain is, like, all of that right now. Like, worse than normal. So, I'm going to try to bring it in. All right, so if you watched last week's episode, thanks. And is this episode 21? This is episode 21. Last week was 20. Okay, episode 21. Thank you. So if you watched last week's episode, you know that I finished fixing this blanket right here with the giant hole in it. And I it was in the wash when I recorded. And I meant to pull it out and take a picture and put it in when I was editing and then I forgot. So I will just show it to you. Here is the blanket. Ta -da, ta -da. All fixed. new border. So I'm pretty excited that this is all fixed up and ready to go back into life. So that's awesome. The other thing that I was working on, I recorded yesterday, so I don't have that much to show progress wise since last time I talked to you, but I do have a little, is I worked on the hat. And look how much I got done today. Can you knit and swing on the swings at the same time? I can, just so you know. So I worked on this at recess. I worked on it when I was walking around. I worked on this all the times today. So I am, um, how tall do we think this nail is? I need to do that length left on the hat before I start the next section. A half inch maybe three quarters of an inch I have no concept of what that looks like but that's how much I have to go on this and then I will start what is um, actually section one in the pattern this is string band hi bring it in self this is string band by Stephen West the blanket is undercover by Beta Jessic and if I think about it, I will put in a picture of the tag for this yarn because I don't remember what it is, um, but it's really pretty. 
I think I've decided that I like the pooling. It looks kind of starry night-ish. If the fabric was this way. Isn't that totally like giving you starry night vibes? I'm getting starry night vibes, so I'm I'm digging it. Um, yeah, hopefully Patrick's brother will like it. Patrick is my boyfriend. I'm making this for his brother, one of his brothers, and hopefully that brother likes this hat when I'm done with it. If not, they don't live very close, so I pretty much never see his family, so it's fine if they don't like it. All right, the other thing that I was talking about was making the Swiffer cover, which I finished, and I inserted a picture at the end of the video. If you didn't catch it, it was there. But I was pulling out the yarn from this cover, which I originally made for my daughter's Chromebook. And I know it looks tiny, but it actually like stretched around the Chromebook like perfectly. But anyway, I couldn't get the idea of, excuse me making a um a heating slash cold pack out of it so i brought with me today to the yarn shop a pair of jeans which have already been used for a different project these are kid jeans that got you know kidified and damaged and stuff so i can't donate them which is, or like pass them on to someone else, which is what I would normally do with my kids' old clothes. So I have, does anybody else have a stockpile of jeans sitting around? Cause you're like, oh, that would be so useful for something. I have a very small stockpile because I do actually use jeans for things. Like I make things out of jeans. Um, so I am going to make a, heating pad out of this fabric and this is going to be the the cover for the heating pad that way there's something that can be washed in case something spills on it or something without being like oh well now I have to throw this away because I'm going to put um, beans inside so I have three colleagues who I don't have um, some sort of gift for who I would like to give an end of the school year gift. I know it's not necessary to give people gifts and stuff. And normally I don't like <laughs> in, in case you don't know, in case this is different at other schools too. Um, like every holiday is a reason for teachers to give their teacher friends gifts. Like Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, like Easter. Um, and I'm not that person. I, my love language is not giving gifts. However, I feel like end of the year, it's a good time to do it. And I have gifts for three colleagues four colleagues, four colleagues. I have gifts for four colleagues. And there are three more who I for sure want to give gifts to. And if I have time to like put together more, I will. But those, like the, that's my list of people who I need to give things to. Need in my head, not in real life. Like who cares? <laughs> Nobody cares except for me. So I kind of feel like I could make I could make the bags for all of them, the heating bags for all of them. But then I want to make them each a cover. So I have one cover made. That means I would have to make two more covers. I don't know if I can do this in three days because it's today. So I could like assemble the bags today and tomorrow and then make two covers by gift time on Friday. <laughs> Do I not know? Like I know that this did not take a day to make. I know this took some time to make like 
logically my brain knows that and yet I'm still like I can do it we can do this <sighs> yeah ADHD brains don't always like really realize how long things take to make so I'm gonna see how far I can get <laughs> making three bean bags and cases bean bags three heating pads and cases this week so wish me luck and on the reading front I haven't read any of my physical books but there is an app that I can't remember the name of but I kept seeing it being advertised and kept seeing it being advertised and um, I've been reading Werewolf Smut on it, which has been great. I just downloaded it yesterday and they get you. It's free to download. I'll put the name right here. Um, it's free to download, but you have to pay um, in order to get like credits or tokens or whatever. And you can read the first five chapters in a book, but then you either have to wait six hours to read the next chapter or buy the next chapter with 10 tokens or buy the entire book with so many tokens. I don't know because I'm not going to pay for it. I can just wait six hours in between every chapter. <laughs> so that's what I've been reading the past, um, the past day. So I read between the three books, I read the first five chapters of each. I think I'm on chapter nine on two of them and chapter seven of one of them. So quite a bit of reading done on my phone. And I foresee that being a thing because, you know, it's on my phone, so it's always there. Um, yeah. So that's what I've been reading. I have read... I'll just, I'll put a screenshot of what's in my library that I'm reading from that, from that app because whatever, I have no shame in reading Werewolf Smut. That's what I want to read right now. I read like a page of The Chosen and the Beautiful today. So it's the end of the school year. I'll read Werewolf Smut if I want to. All right, friends, I will check in with you sometime in the near to mid future. Good morning and happy Tuesday. So my plan to make um, heating pads is way more realistic than I thought because I found the other Chromebook cover that I made that is no longer being used. So that's another cover and I crocheted about a third of a desired length for a cover last night without even really trying. So this is probably doable because sewing up the, the, um, the denim into holders for the, the stuff that I'm going to use to make the heating pads is, I mean, it's going to take time, but it's something that's completely doable in the next few days. Um, I'm taking this to work today to work on to crochet. This is not going to be enough yarn, I don't think. So I have a variegated that I will finish out the case with. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take this to work on. I'm probably, I'll probably try to finish this one tonight. I have the, um, the lining fabric for inside of this to sew up at school today so I should be able to get I mean I think this one could be completely done today and we'll see if I make a start on this one so yeah I'm actually really excited and now my brain is like we could make more brain slow your roll chill out we've got other things to do but maybe we could make more we'll see Hello, sunshines. Don't be concerned by this glisten that I have going on. It's Saturday, and for the first time ever, I rode my bike to work. 
and she did very very well we did have a little mishap where we went over a bump so all of the things I had a couple books up front here um, they popped out and I had a reusable coffee cup that popped out and I ran over it so it was just a test to see if this would work and not really I mean I guess if I had just a water bottle in there it would be okay but I put a um, what is this a milk crate on the back so I have some things in here I carried my computer very well <laughs> all of my stuff back here didn't move or shift or jump out so that's good I will just continue to keep only my phone and keys and bike lock in this basket I think or I might make a cover to go over it to hold things in I haven't decided I mean the reality is this is probably gonna get yarn bombed right so that might be my first yarn bombing give me a second to cool down and I will come back and show you what I've been working on this week hey sunshines how are you hello from the yarn shop it is Saturday the 18th of June and <sighs> School is out for summer, which is kind of happy. Like, I am going to enjoy having a little more time to read and much more time to knit. But I already miss the kids who I see every day. So, yeah, that's that's the hard part. And I know that. Um, I know that it's going to be hard for some of them. Because when I was growing up, I don't know if I already shared this, um, but if I did, I'm sorry, it'll be quick. When I was growing up, summer break was terrible because I had to watch my younger siblings from like 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then by the time I was able to hang out, all of my friends were already like doing the things. So most days I didn't hang out with anybody. So it was pretty tragic. And I know that a lot of kids who go to my school have that same sort of reality. So... Yeah, that's a bummer. Although now they have social media and phones, so it's easier to like keep in touch and stuff. Anyway, how's it going? Is it going well? I have another like kind of knitting light week, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, you know what? No, I actually finished a lot this week. You know why it feels like it's a work light week? Because I gave the I made three heating packs two were um cases that I just needed to modify a little tiny bit I didn't take any pictures I'm really sorry and then the third one I had to make the case for all together and then sew the actual heating pad inserts which was really easy I just used some um denim some old jeans and sewed rectangles and then flipped them inside out filled them with um, some beans, some dried beans that have been sitting in my pantry for an embarrassingly long amount of time, so I'm probably not going to eat them. And then put some mint essential, essential oil in it, um, typed up a little instruction of how to use and how to clean the things, and put that on some, put the instructions on some scrapbooking paper, like cardstock sort of, and then did not wrap them just took lengths of some cotton yarn to like wrap around to stick the card i made them all cards to stick the cards under and yeah that's what i made this week but i can't show you um they were just they were really simple quick gifts and it was nice because i already had the cases that I was reusing for other things. So you already saw those two cases basically finished earlier this week, and then I finished that third one. So I did do that. I did not finish the other two projects that I was like, oh, maybe I'll finish those. No, but for the hat, I am finished with section three, except I'm binding off. So I started binding off last night and I just didn't finish it because I wasn't feeling it. So I'm going to bind it off today and pick up for um, section four, which there's five sections and buttons that need to be sewn on. So I'm going to um, pick up these stitches along here 
and then make a button band and then sew on some buttons. I need to figure out how many buttons I want to put on because I think mine is shorter than what the pattern calls for even though this is quite long for a hat. Um, yeah, that way I can figure out how many buttonholes I need to make and how many buttons. So that's the hat. And the hat pattern that I'm using is String Band by Stephen West, although I didn't reference the pattern for this hat at all. I've just made like three or four or five versions before, so I was like, eh, this is what I think I remember. So if it doesn't work out, it's on me, not on Stephen West. Um, and I worked on the sock a little bit. I don't know where it was when I saw you last. I didn't put in a marker. Had I started the gusset? Was I working through the gusset? I don't know. But I know I worked on this this week, just not a ton. Um, I have a safety pin for the beginning round of every repeat because it's not a hard repeat, but when I was at school, it was just easier to like have a stitch marker there so I could really, really quickly figure out what round I was on. It's only six rounds for the repeat. So that's the sock. It's for my nephew. It's a 72 stitch sock. It will be for a size 13 foot. So normally at this point, I'd be like mm, between a third and halfway done, but I think I'm more like a quarter of the way done. I don't know. I haven't measured it. It just has ginormicon feet. Um, but that's all the knitting that I've been working on. I did think about making one more heating slash cooling pack. Um, so I kind of started making a cover for it and then I decided I didn't want to do it. So I didn't. So I pulled it out. I might restart that. I started crocheting it and I just didn't like the way the yarn was working up in crochet. It was a different cotton. So I think I'm going to maybe knit it and make a heating slash cooling pack for myself because that would be really smart. I think um, what I'm going to do is I'll just make one cover, but probably three or four inserts because I am not good with heat. Hot makes me cranky and so tired and not a nice human. Um, so I'm thinking I can like make several inserts and that way I can just swap them out and help myself be cool. And um, honestly, I'll probably make one each for my kiddos too. One cover, Let's see if they want them. Maybe they won't, but maybe they will. I'll ask before I go forth and put that much effort into making something because that's what I did. I made covers for their Chromebooks and they never used them. Anyway, it is summertime. It is summertime. <gasps> Are you excited? I am so excited. You know what summertime means? All the small things. All the small things is happening. It is on. I have not worked on any of my small blanket projects yet, but today's the first day. So I anticipate that I will, hopefully tonight. We'll see how I feel when I get home. Um, yeah, we'll see. But it's supposed to be coolish today, which is lovely. Like only about 70 degrees instead of the 90 that it was for the past week. There was one day where it was 98 degrees. Ugh. No, not me. Not for me. That weather is not for me. Um, the other thing. So anyway, uh, I'll link the video for all the small things right up here. So you can check that out for rules and how to enter. It's a lot of fun. The rules are very, very loose, very minimum. Um, yeah, so check out that video, come play along. There's usually a lot of prizes given out because there's a lot of participation, which I love. And it's just a motivator to like work on anything, really. The other thing about summer is that I now have uh, a lot more time to read. I will be teaching summer school, so in about two weeks I go back for PD and three weeks summer school starts, but that's three weeks where I don't have to do summer school. 
And then when summer school is in session, it's only a, a half day. So it's much less of my day, which is nice. So what am I going to be reading? Tale of Genji, which I have not read in June. I think I read maybe like two days so far in June, the 10 pages that I was going for. So I'm going to try to read 15 pages a day, but not all at once. Probably like five pages in the morning, five pages in the afternoon, and five pages in the evening because reading this book is not my favorite read that I've done, but I, I don't know. I don't want to DNF it. I don't know why. I just don't want to. So I'm, you know, I'm that far. What page am I on? 338 so about no is that the page I'm on or the page I should be on that's the page I should be on that sounded way further I'm on page 303 um should be on like way back when I was like I can catch up I can't catch up it's fine um so I'm on page 300 so about 30 percent of the way through the book a little bit less there's 1060 pages in this book so that's okay I'll catch up by catch up, I mean I'll finish this book this summer. That's the goal. 15 pages a day is doable, especially, like I said, if I'm splitting it up. Oh, you know what I could do? <gasps> what I'm going to do is I am going to, I told you earlier this week that I started reading some books on an app, right? And you can read, you can only read one chapter at a time and then you have to wait six hours. I am going to read five pages of Genji and then read my chapters. I'm now up to five books on the app because three chapters at a time wasn't enough. But I'm not reading any more than five. So I'll read my five pages of Genji three times a day and read my, th my chapters three times a day because that's how often I'm able to read them. Oh, smart. This is smart. Will I actually stick with this? I don't know. I don't, who knows, maybe for a few days, but maybe for the whole summer. We'll see. ADHD brain is so, so fun. Make your arbitrary rules, follow them for a while, have to redo them. It's fine. It's fine. But reading five pages of Genji at a time is actually really, really easy. It's once I get to like page seven that I'm like, okay, I've been reading this a long, long time. So I think five pages will work out really, really well for me. I'm also going to con continue to read The Chosen and the Beautiful. I am on page 124 out of 260. So yeah, this should be easy. I have goals. I have goals for reading. I don't remember what they are off the top of my head. I think it's 15 pages of Genji and then 10 pages of nonfiction, which I'll show you in a minute, and then at least 10 pages of fiction. Um, I'm not going to count my, my digital books on my reading thing because I made the goals like a couple weeks ago, but yeah, I'm, I need to read at least 10 pages or 20 pages, I don't remember, of fiction every day so that I can, you know, get through the library books that I wanted to get through. But I usually read so, so much during summer. Like that's my main activity. I read a book as I'm going to say this while they're washing dishes because otherwise I'll forget what I was talking about. So sorry about the noise. Um, I usually read a book while watching a podcast and knitting on something. Like that's what I do in the summer when I'm not like doing chores. That's what I do at the beach. That's how I spend my summer. Okay, now I'll pause and tell you about the last book in a minute. Okay, so my other reading goal is 10 nonfiction pages a day, which is usually pretty easy. And frequently I go over that number if I'm like super close to the end of the chapter or something. What I am going to read is, let's see, let's see how long these chapters are. What do we think? Oh yeah, they look to be most of them about 20 to 30 pages so well that one's like 15. so yeah i'll some days i'll read a chapter some days i'll read the 10 and be like okay i'm good 
Um, but what I'm going to read first is Didn't We Have It All? Um, in Defense of Whitney Houston by Garrick Kennedy with a foreword by Brandy. I picked this up on a whim from the library. Um, I have, I think, only four nonfiction books from the library right now. Or three. I don't know. Some number. I don't know. I have a lot of books out from the library. I shouldn't be trusted at the library. I love the library. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to read this first because this and one other of those nonfiction books are due back first. So those will be the two nonfiction books that I read first. But yeah, I just picked them up off of the, there, there's a nonfiction display table at the library and I totally pick up, the, pick up the books based on what the front cover looks like. That's how I pick a lot of the books that I read. Um, Although the fiction books that I'm planning to read this summer, I'm planning to read the Bridgerton series, which it's because I read the first one and liked it enough that I was like, okay, that'll be the series that I read. So I'm going to read that. And the way that I'm going to read it is I'm going to read one Bridgerton book and then one other fiction book and switch them off. Um, because arbitrary rules... If I try to read all of the Bridgerton books back to back, I will burn out on them. But if I put a different nonfiction or a different fiction book in between that, and it's like super motiv motivating to read the next Bridgerton book. I don't know why. My brain. That's how my brain works. And then the rest of the books that I have are fiction books are either things that other people have recommended or I liked the title of but didn't look at the cover. So... I don't know what I'm reading this summer. I don't know what they're about. Who reads the inside of the inside of the dust jacket? Probably you. Definitely not me. So yeah, I'm really excited to read and knit this summer. I'm so, so excited to have this time off for that. And then I'm excited to see kiddos in three weeks because I love my kiddos. Anyway. I am going to let you go here, so if you like what you've seen, make sure to um, subscribe, hit the like button. If you have any questions, put them down below. If you have any comments, put them down below. I know I've asked a few questions throughout this video, so I would love to have a little chat with you. Um, if I missed your comments last week, I'm really sorry. It was a crazy week this week, like your comments from the previous episode. So. I am going to stop talking here, but I'll probably put more footage in um, because tomorrow I'm going to knit. So I'm going to show you. Hopefully I have this hat almost done <laughs> by tomorrow night or maybe fully done. Who knows? And I'll probably have some blanket progress to show you. Yeah. All right, friends. I will talk to you in about a week. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.